Good afternoon, Dominique here. You know, today starts and kicks off the very first day for our learning program for kids. And you caught me at a good time, because guess what? I was reading a book. And that's what I plan on doing with you kids today. So the book that I was reading is a very fun book, and it is called My Name is a Story by Ashanti. So I'm going to go ahead and read this to you guys today. And then also we'll go ahead and talk about some science, some math, history, and we'll give you one Spanish word to focus on for the week. So let's go ahead. Let's read the book. My Name is a Story by Grammy Award winning artist Ashanti, illustrated by Monica Mackay. I wanted my name to be easy. Easy like funny faces and finger paint. Like dizzy friends spinning on a merry-go-round. Like recess, sunshine, and skipping rocks. I wanted my name to be easy like playground giggles sneak between the trees. But my name is a spelling bee for my teacher and jumbled puzzle pieces on my classmates' tongues. Class, we're going to spell our names today. Would you like to go first, Ashante? Ashunti? I've never heard of a name like that. Hey, what kind of name is Ashanti? And why does your name sound so weird? Too big, too hard, too much. When I crawl into my mother's arms and my tears stain her favorite blouse, I explain that my name is an impossible maze. She snuggles me close and whispers in my ear. But Ashanti is all the wonders of being awesome. I look into Mama's warm eyes as she flips through each letter of my name like the pages of a cozy storybook. Ashanti is a thousand sunrises, a kingdom on the golden shores of Ghana or busy city sidewalks. It's the strength of our people and our family. Is it Grandpa Jelani, whose name means small but mighty, I ask? Or Auntie Tina, who shines like a glistening river? Yes, that's right, baby girl. Mama grins as I breathe in deep. Ashanti is the rhythm of the hand games I play and the harmony in my songs. Ashanti is the arc of a double rainbow, the art in your sparkling eyes. It is the smell of the sweetest nectarine and a nibble of chocolate. Ashanti is a nighttime star. I sit up straight and wipe my tears. I start to see. It's the winding twist in my dancing hips. A tickle monster. A tiny fib from my mischievous lips. Ashanti is a great idea. An inspiration. Innovation. A bright imagination. I shout it. Mama lifts my chin and wipes my cheeks. Ashanti is a big name for a girl with a big heart and big dreams. Your name is a story to be read, to be told, and to be loved over and over again. The very next day, I look my teacher in the eye and take my place in front of the classroom. Hands on my hips and my head held high, I say, easy like A apple pie, or as S strong as a H high five. My name is no mere A accessory. Saying my name with power is in necessary. My name is a T treasure that is I infinite. 
Never too big, never too hard, and never ever too much. My name is a story. What's yours? And that's the end of the story. My name is a story by Ashanti, which could be found at HarperCollinsChildrens.com or in Target and other stores. Get yours today. Great. I'm so glad you read the story with me. Now that we've read this story, let's go ahead and put this away. Now we're going to turn our heads to the history part of the program. And this will be presented by our great historian, Isabella. She'll be covering Maya Angelou. Okay, Isabella, take it away. Maya Angelou was born on April 4th, 1928, in St. Louis, Missouri. Her name was Marguerite Annie Johnson. In 1953, she changed her name to Maya Angelou. Did you know in 1960, she worked for Martin Luther King? She was an activist and poet and appeared on the TV series Roots. She received many awards and was professor at Wake Forest University. Maya Angelou died on May 28th, 2014, in North Carolina. Okay, now that you've learned a little bit of history of Maya Angelou today, now we will go ahead and turn our heads to some math. And this will also be presented by the great mathematician, Isabella. So she'll be covering some addition. She'll go over some fun ways on how to learn how to add. So let's go ahead, Isabella. What you got? Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. So today I'm gonna do math. And the math I'm doing is addition. So this is seven plus six equals what? So, to add it, is to do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So, what's the answer? Thirteen. So, you put in... Okay, great. Now that you've covered math, now let's go on to the science part. And for today, we'll be talking about energy, different parts of energy, potential energy, kinetic energy, and changes in energy. So let's go ahead and let's do some demonstrations. Potential energy is often called stored energy. It represents work that has already been done. Kinetic energy is the energy of movement. Changes in energy. Energy is constantly changing from the potential to the kinetic state and back again. Every change in the universe represents the change of energy from one form to another. This process is called the transformation of energy. Look at this diagram. A girl on a swing illustrates how potential stored energy becomes kinetic 
moving energy and vice versa. In the diagram, the girl has maximum potential energy but no kinetic energy when she is in position B. And in this diagram, gravity swings her down from position B. At position C, she has no potential energy but maximum kinetic energy, which swings her to D. Here's another example. A ball at the edge of the table is potential energy. And when you drop it, it becomes kinetic energy. Okay, great. Now that we've covered some different parts of energy, potential energy, kinetic energy, and changes in energy, we covered that. Now we covered the science, the math, the history, and we did some reading too. Now let's give you that one special Spanish word to cover for the week. Ready? Sombrero! Isabella? Ha <laughs> Sombrero! Sombrero! Sombrero is hat in Espanol. Okay? What, how, what, when do you wear hats? You can wear hats during the winter. You can wear hats at a baseball game. You can wear hats at, for any occasion. So, where's your sombrero? That concludes for the program for today. Stay tuned for next Monday, okay? Bye-bye. Oh, I, rem I forgot to mention a few other things, okay? So, important, don't do drugs, don't smoke, Remember to obey your parents and exercise. Remember, a healthy body is a healthy mind. Thank you for staying for the program. Now, I'd like you to do four things for me. Like, subscribe, and share, and take care.